This will be the world's toughest mega crab. Uh, September beastly mega crab sneak peek on the developer build account. Let's do this. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, and yes, good evening, Skull Army and friends. It's your boy, uh, your friendly neighborhood Skull Crusher coming right back at you with the sneak peek for the 2021 September Beastly Mega Crab, also known as the world's toughest mega crab. So right off the bat, why is this the world's toughest mega crab? Well, let's, let's take a look right over here. I want you to pay attention right at the very bottom of the screen there. You're going to notice that it's absolutely blank right beside the stage rewards there. That's because the beastly mega crab does not offer you any stage bonuses or troop bonuses. Beastly Mega Crab will uh, run for three days. It will start on Friday, September the 23rd, and run right up until Sunday, September the 25th, leading right into Warship Season 39 Power Up. And no, uh, we will not be talking about that in today's video here. <laughs> Beastly Crab is in insane. You're really going to have to think about your statues on uh, this one here. Altogether, you're probably going to want a well-rounded statue lineup for the Beastly Crab. You know, maybe, you know, a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Not to mention that every crab does offer its uh, rewards as well. And of course, for the 2021 Beastly Mega Crab, we will be rewarded with uh, some pretty cool uh, trophies here. If you do make it to stage 10, you will be honored with the stone crab trophy if you do make it to stage 20 you will be honored with the iron crab trophy if you do uh, make it to stage 40 you will be blessed with the golden crab trophy if this is your first time crabbing and you do make it to stage 60 you will get the diamond crab trophy and of course for you to get your legendary crab trophy here for the 2022 beastly mega crab you would have to have hit diamond on last year's so last september's beastly mega crab if you did hit diamond, then you will be eligible to get your legendary trophy. And of course, if you do have a legendary one trophy from the previous Beastly Mega Crab, then you will actually be able to get a legendary two crab trophy. And then, of course, the cycle repeats like literally all the way up to, I think, like the 12th legendary statue. So, uh, yeah, they're planning on a lot of crabs here. <laughs> to mention that if we do look at our tribes which we will have to benefit the beastly mega crab honestly i think gumboat energy is going to be your best bet here uh you are going to want to boost that g oh that's right this is uh the uh the dev build where our, my tribes aren't fully upgraded <laughs> uh, but honestly you are going to want to boost that gumboat energy uh if you are a lower level player and you you know you are going to be relying on your heavies or your grenadiers it wouldn't it wouldn't even be a bad idea to boost your heavy life leech or your grenadier health as well here but you're going to be pulling in tons of rewards from this mega crab so i don't think having the gold reward boosted you know will benefit that much but then again honestly never a bad idea to pull in more gold here now to showcase a little bit of a treat here for the beastly mega crab uh we're gonna be showcasing warriors only from stages uh 1 10 20 30 and 40 and of course when the crab does go live uh i will be attempting another warriors only challenge for the beastly crab of course with the goal being using nothing but warriors and hero of choice and trying to get from stages 1 to 70 if we are unable to get the stage 7 70, then the goal will be to essentially to see how close we can get to stage 70 using nothing but a warrior so if you do find that exciting or you do uh, want to see me use warriors to take on the 2022 beastly mega crab then make sure you are subscribed to the channel with that bell icon notified as well so you will get the notification when that stream is a go here so let's start some of this madness off here with warriors going in on stage one yeah, absolutely nothing crazy here. Just bullet in a full warrior drop on the far left side of the ramp there with the direct flare to the back left and boom! 
boom, uh, goes the dynamite. Stage 10, keeping the momentum moving forward here. We did actually uh, do a critter toss there directly in the middle with some barrage around the power core there to clear the mines to open it up for the Warriors. Beautiful mid-ramp drop going up the middle with a three-smoke drop. Cycling shocks around the surrounding defenses and an easy takedown. Boom! Goes the dynamite. So already, look at stage 20 here. Like, this is crazy. Absolutely crazy here. So we did actually start things off with Bullet, literally just to farm some of those defenses on the beach there. And while this is going on, we are utilizing our Barrage and our Artillery to finish off, you know, what was left of the Shield Gens there. Check out the MVP Critters right there, getting the last of the Shield Gen. So, you know, as we did clear the Shield Generators with the uh, Barrage and Artillery, you know, we just uh, activated the Cryo Bomb to the top right of the core there, which did clear the surrounding mines, opening up our path here. We did use that, well, we were attempting to use that Boom Cannon as an anchor there uh, but nonetheless we did regroup and then follow up going directly to that machine gun there this is where things got a little bit sloppy at my end here because we literally ran out of gunboat energy after the shocking and we activated taunt here i had zero gb at this point so i was like literally a couple seconds late to reflare the core here and as you can see this is going to come right down to the wire here so i know that i can get the solo here we just got to make sure that we flare a little bit quicker here or maybe just pick up an extra defense to have that additional gumboat energy for the flare there because I, I, I kid you not this came down to a barrage and the last missile of the barrage on the next hit here check it out there's the barrage there's the barrage there's the barrage there's the barrage watch this ready right down to slow-mo done 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 boom goes the dynamite mega crab stage 30 like this is already looking gross i mean you would expect to see layouts like this literally in like the 50s or 60s here but we're using the same strategy here. We're using our artillery and barrage to clear those shield gens. As you can see, it's taken a lot here. I think their health is like, it's right up there. It is right up there. But nonetheless, we were able to remove it here. My GBE, I believe, was down to about like 64 or 65 at this point. So I'm like, crap, we literally still need to be able to get into position and still cycle three shocks because of this, this, and this right there there's three shock launchers that are just in disgusting shock lock positions here so as we do continue the attack here you can see bullet comes out first with a full warrior low flag drop there on the far left ramp there critters to clear the boom mines we're going to use that mid machine gun as an anchor here and this is where we cycled our shocks first actually we flared and then cycled the shocks luckily we did have enough there but taunt was just a little bit late with bullet coming out of the smoke there and unfortunately yeah i mean we did get a good chunk on that core uh but yeah it did take two hits and nonetheless i think for this beastly crab i once we do get into the 20s it, it will take two hits moving forward if you are planning on using warriors only for the beastly mega crab and here we have part two uh, for stage 30 with the warriors you can see this time we've actually got a flare landing on that left ramp bullet coming out first two smoke drop there using the machine gun as an anchor following up with that same machine gun as an anchor here this time actually activating the cryo bomb first then cycling our shocks accordingly with the direct flare to the core taunt activated and honestly a beautiful takedown right there for the second hit on stage 30 boom goes the dynamite and here we have stage 40 ew 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 i mean you know what honestly i think stage 30 looked a little bit grosser uh but nonetheless yeah you can expect some pretty nasty octagon layouts uh for this beastly mega crap here so again you know we got the shield gens on the left and right side there i think the health was lower on the left side there which is why we did decide to bart that out there we do only have the one ramp there directly at the bottom of the crab there so of course as the attack does continue here we do actually activate the cryo bomb with the uh, critters there just to kind of save and manage our gumboat energy a little bit more effectively we do directly flare to the shock launcher used as an anchor to directly regroup our warriors and then we go for a long flare to that top shield generator at the top right of the screen there and beautiful bullet taking a sweet time but he is making his way there as bullet does regroup taunt is activated critter to follow up there and this was just honestly an aggressive fleek uh free clear here setting this up for the second hit here bullet and the warriors taking out those snipers and boom cannon cycling a shock directly on the microwaver and just going for the aggressive hail mary here you can't really see bullet behind the sniper there uh but he puts on a little bit of an extra show there before he does go down you can see his hand in his uh you know blunder buster just kind of hanging out there at the uh right side of the sniper <laughs> so not bad for the first hit there on stage 40 as we do uh go in for the finisher here check this madness out here 
cryo bomb activated first and we've got that flare landing to the right side of the ramp there to smoke drop re uh, reusing that same shock launcher as an anchor here for the warriors and bullet this time we're actually using that sniper as our secondary anchor as we regroup to get closer to the core here then we follow up with the sniper literally right beside it as we then cycle our shocks and then reflare to the core critter box coming out as well i think the laser takes some of our warriors we follow up with a shock on that and honestly a beautiful two hit takedown on stage 40 for the beastly mega crab boom goes the dynamite and there we have it skull army for the sneak peek beastly mega crab very very exciting also going to be very very uh, challenging uh do not forget to plug and play code skull crusher in the in-game shop on your next purchase whether that be instant training admiral key diamonds special offers i also please do not forget to leave a like it means the absolute world to me it also does help the channel grow and of course yes the youtube algorithm overlords absolutely love it uh guys we will uh, be wrapping up the sneak peek video here once again we will be going live with the warrior only challenge when beastly crab does uh, go live itself i am planning to do that stream on saturday i do want to thank you all so much for the love and support but for now i do believe it is time to make like a tom and cruise uh, good luck for the crab we'll catch you guys later peace